This is the Holocene period. It takes place during the end of the Ice Age all the way to the present day. On today's episode, on this new documentary series, we're going to focus on a cassowary. To be exact, a southern cassowary. Southern cassowaries live on islands of Australia and the Indonesian islands. They are one of the species that are radites. What are radites? Radites are types of birds like emus, kiwis, and ostriches. And many more are in the group. And in this group, which, well, we should say used to be a group, this cassowary lost its group a long time ago to a mountain lion attack and eagles. Eagles are a threat to cassowaries. And as you can see, harpy eagles are enemies to golden eagles. The cassowary runs in fear while he sees, he sees the harpy eagle. The cassowary stumbles across a watering hole, then takes a sip of water. Cassowaries are territorial, so it makes sure there are no cassowaries in the region. There aren't. But it sees an unfamiliar object called a tent right beyond the distance, and it doesn't like it. So it still runs away until a harpy eagle attacks, and it's poorly wounded, but kills the harpy eagle. The cassowary needs to rest, on, or either it would die. The cassowary needs to rest. So it goes into the forest and takes a rest for a few seconds. Cassowaries are becoming endangered due to a loss of habitat and invasive species. For instance, pigs and climate change is hurting these cassowaries. Like the cassowaries on this island. The cassowaries on this island are sadly going extinct due to the lack of forest. There are more grassland than forests. And it checks if there's any danger. And checks again until go until she leaves. And she looks out for a little bit. Dodos and northern cats. Cassowary. Southern cassowaries are passive creatures, but sometimes they would hunt each other. And sometimes it could be to the death. Only in circumstances when, well, starvation. The cassowary runs. For no reason, it's running to bushes to eat, but it's thirsty, so it goes to an ocean. It's the worst place, but it goes anyway. Before, when it takes a sip, it sees there's a fish carcass, so it stays cautious. It looks, and then goes. But then realize it's terrible tasting water. So it leaves to go to the river to drink. Cassowaries are also a little bit Olympic by jumping and running everywhere. But they're not great at swimming. That's why they stay to shallow waters. And most cassowaries drown in water. This could be the end of this cassowary. It has to worry because there is a crocodile lurking in the waters. So it leaves. Well, there's another crocodile on the land. It leaves and is in stress until it gets out. The cassowary is safe at times, but it wouldn't be safe until she met a cro- she met two golden crocodiles. Crocodiles could be passive sometimes, but most of the times they could be aggressive. 
so she does a morning call to get out of there. Until she gets bitten by a cat, by a, the crocodile and does a nasty kick. Nasty kick, which, which is fatal, can, which can kill the crocodile. And sometimes the crocodile will chase it down. The crocodiles don't have a problem going into force. She strikes again until leaving and leaves it alone. There's another crocodile, but there's also three other cassowaries. They're eating on dead mammal carcasses. Well, a car falls nearby. The cassowary is terrified of it. So it leaves. One of the cassowaries are just killing a snake which is a venomous kind of snake called the Gibbon Viper, which came from the coast of Africa. But these cassowaries came from Australia. The cassowaries become a group, but it's not so long until they split up. Well, as you think, they didn't split up. They are one of a kind of an animal. But it almost got hurt by the crocodile that's on land. Sometimes cassowaries would just do weird kicks off in there. The cassowary is just standing still in peace. Well, see, seeing that there's a harpy eagle, it doesn't want to attack. But there's a call. It takes a little nap. Cassowaries sleep with their head in a little spiral, you could say. Until the cassowary goes to take another drink of the same watering hole earlier in the episode. Then notices the tent and decides to explore it. It's moving small gestures because it's scared of the tent and doesn't know what it is. So looks around and walks around the tent. Looking at it. And look. And it smells a little bit. The cassowary doesn't like the smell. It smells again. It gets a whiff. And it smells like rotten cheese. Cassowary runs away. Does it? And does an angry call. Which means it doesn't like the smell. Other cassowaries do calls too. They're not the only one. She's not the only one. The group had finally split off since one of them had died from a mountain lion. Cass but this cassowary stays in group. But the other one, for some reason, for some reason, hunts down a reindeer. The reindeer is in danger of being killed by the cassowary. But most of the time, reindeers kill cassowaries. The cassowary stumbles across Caracal territory. It does a warning call. Angry call. Until a kick. A lethal kick to Caracal. Until an unlucky harpy eagle. A harpy eagle with a broken wing came. Then the, the, the cassowary killed the harpy eagle. The cassowary eats the dead harpy. The cassowaries are unusual animals. The ears are different from our ears. 
so much. Their ears have are holes in their head, and they also have a crest. We don't know why they do, but it might be for display or for direct.